So today we are going to continue from where we stopped and if you remember from the last class we actually did a, a get list of countries as you can see and also we are able to match or integrate the control and the service and we are able to do away with the routing directory and that kind of simplifies things a great deal because if you look at what we have now we have a controller and in the controller we specify the route right so it's basic controller service communication like we did in Spring Boot and that's exactly what we are doing now. So every other function like get by ID, get uh, put, post and delete is going to be exactly the same way. Again, I want to remind you that if you are joining me for the first time in this class, please remember to subscribe. And also if you have any challenge, please leave me a comment. Let me know this is full stack development that covers all the technologies for software engineering. We are not missing out anything ranging from the front end in Angular to the back end in Node.js to the database which is PostgreSQL to NoSQL database we are, we are going to be using MongoDB to DevOps where we are going to be using GitHub to, um, to pipeline into Heroku and actually deploy this application in real time and actually see how it works. So let's go ahead to continue. Today we are going to be doing get by ID. So um, it's going to be a very short class. So in the same way, so we're going to go to the service and write a function. And we're also going to go to the controller and write a function and that's all. So I'm going to the country service. I'm going to services. So you can now see that our application have a, 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 a particular pattern, right? So this is the pattern this application is going to follow uh, beginning from now to the end. But I want you to pay attention to when it comes to posts. Because in post, there is a little bit trick uh, you need to know because post is not uh, as trivial as we have here. So I'm going to also take in the case of the in the case of the the controller method for by ID. Now pay very careful attention to the URL parameter uh, here. So let's see. Um, I want to change this one to country service. Let me copy this this here and paste this one here as well um so country service dot get country by id so uh, no it's not going to be here actually i think i did mess up this is home controller so we we don't have any business with the home controller so we um we will be walking here so just oh sorry Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to use it here. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Pay attention to how we pass URL to uh, from the controller to the service. Actually, how we read the URL coming from the URL parameter. And here we get it from request.params. The name of the parameter. In this case, the name of the parameter is ID specified with colon parameter name. So we have this column ID, uh, this column ID indicates that ID is a URL parameter and to read it, the value, we use request.params.id. And once we do this, we can now um, uh, fetch the data from the service because if we now go to the service, we simply specify the service here, uh, specify the parameter as an integer or as a number here. Also pay attention to how we structure the query, right? So we have a select star from countries uh, where ID is equal to dollar. A dollar is a placeholder for the first parameter. So the parameters goes from the first to the last. In this case, we only have one parameter, which is the first parameter. So and at the end of that comma, you want to specify the value of that parameter in uh, square brackets. And in this case, the value is this ID and this ID in square brackets corresponds to the value of this ID uh, parameter here. So this is basically it, except you also need to know that URL parameters in Node comes as strings. So we actually have to use um, pass int here, the pass int function to convert it to integer. So I'm going to save everything and let's uh, test it out to see if it works. So I'm going to go back here, refresh, everything still works. And I'm going to say slash country slash one and you can see it actually works. So slash country slash four, it actually works. 
So I like to stop here because I want to keep these videos very short. In the next part, we now try to do a post request. That's what the, the one that actually is a bit tricky, but we are going to be doing it in the next part. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave me a comment if you have challenges or if you simply have something you would like me uh, to clarify. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and, and, I'm, and I'm always there for you.